In another story about a guest of honor with a message of determination, John McLaughlin was one of the Port Authority's police sergeants trapped under rubble when the World Trade Center was attacked on 9-11, injured while helping other victims survive. John's story becoming part of the 2006 movie World Trade Center. Tonight, the SUNY Oswego grad returned to campus, inspiring soon-to-be graduates as the keynote speaker of the commencement eve torchlight dinner and ceremony. News Channel 9's Nicole Semavilla takes us inside tonight. An alumnus, the father of a graduate, and a survivor of the attack on the World Trade Center. Just the fact that uh, I was able, I survived um, in itself uh, was surprising. John McLaughlin is a hero, but the titles he treasures the most? Father and husband. My dad is definitely my hero. <laughs> the 1975 SUNY Oswego grad returning to campus for the commencement eve torchlight dinner with a message for graduates. A lesson he learned after cheating death. And as long as you keep on trying, um, there's always opportunity. John's family inspired him to get back on his feet. And now he's inspiring them. It's been amazing seeing him going from wheelchair and being told he wouldn't walk again uh, to walking up up the stairs on the stage and giving a speech at the podium. Erin McLaughlin is a part of the 2019 graduating class. She plans to go to grad school for occupational therapy to help others the way doctors helped her dad. If they were that big of a part in my family and like in me growing up, I would like to have that impact on someone else eventually. John gave Erin her high school diploma. Now he gets to be part of her college graduation too. Special moments that could have been taken away from them both. But instead, like all these graduates, the two have a life of special moments ahead, leaving a message behind for the class of 2019. Even though you have one set path, it doesn't mean that's your end all be all. And no matter what happens, you can still find that happiness. All of you will start experiencing some disappointments and some setbacks. Embrace them. Words of wisdom and so much inspiration. John was actually stuck under rubble for 22 hours, and then he spent six weeks in a medically induced coma. So look at him. He is just the spitting image of determination. Just an amazing story of survival. Was yeah. there anything else uh, McLaughlin had to say tonight that uh, stood in your mind? Yeah, he did. It's something that I want to try to live by, too. He said, life will throw you adversities, but what separates you from everyone else is how you respond to those setbacks. And I bet everyone watching in that audience tonight was just captivated by what he oh, had yeah. to People say. People were tearing up. And just to see his daughter experience that, yeah. the two of them experience this graduation together, it really is special. What a night. Nice. weekend for both of them. Yeah.